It's very awkward queuing for John Higgins. Made the shot so much more difficult. Well, I think long pot success for John Higgins will, would be very, very low. Went for the split. Hang on. Oh, well. Wow. I think there might be a red to the right middle, actually, but you know, I think he was hoping that the white would finish middle of the table between the pink and the black spot. What's he playing here? Safety? Nothing terribly appetising here for O'Sullivan. Queuing, just as Higgins had just now, very awkward in the jaws of the pocket. He had a quick look at the one on the right-hand side, Phil, didn't he, to see if he can cut it back in, but I think it's a safety. Or is it? Is he going for the red in the corner? No, it's the safety. Well, they'll be a little bit... Well, they'll be more than a little bit disappointed there because he would have expected to have been on the red and not in the blue. But he's left John Higgins another red here into the corner from distance. If we've seen, as we've seen so far, these have not been going in. Well, this has to go in, otherwise it might be the end. Just while well, he's not been on it from distance. Don't know why. He's, uh, he's been pretty good all week, but uh, today it's uh, just deserted him. One. Well, now then, Ronnie looking for the kill. It's not been one of the best matches that either of these players have played in their careers. But at this stage, it's all about putting yourself into the final and Nine. starting again tomorrow. If Ronnie comes through, whoever came through this one, Philip was going to be a, a cracker, wasn't it? But we know that Ronnie and Jude play a similar game and they're going to have a go at each other tomorrow if Ronnie comes through here. 16. It's looking increasingly likely that that Seven. will happen. Higgins said ahead of this match that he would have to play an awful lot better than he did at the Champion of Champions, but in the event, he has struggled again today. Yeah, yeah, he'll be bitterly disappointed with this uh, this performance. 24. Just hasn't got going. 25. I suppose other players on the list will say a semi-final and a major tournament, I'll take that. But these guys want the silverware, don't they? Yes, and these days there's no time to dwell on any disappointments because there's always another tournament round the corner. In this case, 32. Monday, of course, the Northern Ireland Open, second leg of the Home Nations. Tickets still available on the World Snooker website. Ronnie O'Sullivan looking to make it two out of two after his English Open triumph. Mark King will be defending the title he won 
last year in Belfast. And how he'd love to arrive in Belfast with ranking title number 30 under his belt. Well, he's giving himself a great chance to make that happen. Judd Trump awaiting the winner. O'Sullivan closing in on the final. Well, a disappointing day for the Scot. He was hoping that uh, things will, might have uh, been better than this for him. Well, let's be honest. I mean, Ronnie hasn't exactly blown him away. But what a big frame the previous one was. Yeah. Could easily have gone Higgins' way, and it would have been 4-3 instead of 5-2. That's a very different equation. I think that's the reason why Ronnie took on the double on the black, uh, Phil, because worst-case scenario for him was 4-3. He still leads. But the bonus was 5-2. And this red and another black. 52-4. And it's snookers required for John Higgins. It's going to be a great day tomorrow. <laughs> Whatever you're doing, cancel it. Ronnie O'Sullivan against Judd Trump, hey? And the major, the major final. Yeah, the referee get... may need roller skates. <laughs> yeah, I don't know who's doing it yet, actually. And it's been confirmed, but uh, oh, it's going to be a great day, isn't it? Yeah, it's a terrific semi-final lineup. We were guaranteed a great final, whoever came through. But a real treat in store for the crowd. Two players who love to attack, 69. who never take a backward step. They played a lot of exhibition snooker in the last couple of years. Trump and O'Sullivan together. Both very respectful of the other's talents. Yeah. I mean, it's going to be competitive, but I'm sure it's going to be fun as well. Because these two boys like to entertain. Well, even John likes to entertain, but you know what I'm saying. Ronnie Egan is good. Well, we haven't had a century today. Ronnie O'Sullivan's best a run of 79. Several other telling contributions. 83. But he could be going out in style here. Nicely in behind the final red. 91. The crowd eager to see him do it. Just the green then, and the Shanghai roof will be raised. It's been another superb exhibition from Ronnie O'Sullivan. He's been clinical when he's had his chances by and large. He certainly thoroughly outplayed John Higgins in all departments today. And I reckon 6-2 ultimately is about right. We expected something rather closer, but Higgins not able to bring his A game to the party. And you have to against this guy. The way he's playing right now, nothing less will do. Higgins disappointed, but he'll dust himself down, get ready for Belfast next week. Ronnie O'Sullivan will look forward to a final with Judd Trump. What an occasion that promises to be as these two titans of the game shake hands.